go ahead and hook up the hard drive. Take the CD ROM, DVD ROM, burner, whatever you want to call it. Slide it in the front. I'm not sure. I think that's how far it needs to go for this front bezel to work. Take these screws I showed you earlier that were wrong. Those are for the CD ROMs, it would seem. Right, there we go. Now we're cooking. So that's CD ROM screws. Got one more SATA cable connector worth for this. <laughs> it reaches, I guess. These cables are awfully short and they're all damaged. Tuck that away. Get our SATA cable here. I put this in. There's only, of course, one device per port. There we go. Now I need some Moldex connectors. This hard drive or this uh, cooling fan, plug it in. This one do the same. You can stack them together like this. Some people won't like that, but this is a quickie build. I'm not making it necessarily pretty right now. I'll come back and do that later when I get a better power supply. Just kind of wanting to get this thing working play some games I haven't gotten to play in quite a while since that laptop didn't play very well it's getting on in age about four or five years old case over. And you can see there's a little bit of hiding space back here in these Antex. Go ahead and take the rest of my other thumb screws and secure this thing. This hard drive on the other side. Take the screws for the CD-ROM. See any reason to put eight screws in the CD-ROM? Four is even overkill, especially in this case that five and a quarter drives are quite tight. But that'll keep it from going anywhere. Stand it up now. Take the case front. 
It's going to go in these slots. There's three slots around, along the front edge. Of course, it's not going to go on with the, the blank in there for the, the CD-ROM. Now let's do it. Beautiful. That's it. It's hooked up. <laughs> Don't get the shirt stuck in it that you have protecting your table. Like I said before, the cable organization is not what I'm going for right now. There they are. Forgot where I put them. the thumb screws. Before I cover this up, I'll turn it around, give you guys an overview of it, see what it looks like. We'll go from there. How's it? Oh, much heavier now. All right, here we go. There's all the internals put in. Got the hard drive, DVD burner. Of course, these cables are going to fall down and piss me off. But I'll get that all cleaned up later. Hide them better. There we go. Let's show you the back IO shield. I've only got one, it's one card in there. It's probably all it'll really ever be in there. I guess if I wanted to be cool, I could. Put the protector back on there. Yeah, the DV DVI in that's protected. You see that? I don't know if I really like that finish. But there we go. Built up, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 7 on it. I don't think you guys need to see that. That's kind of boring. But there we go. Let's see how this motherboard does. I'm going to. Do some clock tests and some uh, benchmarks. See how it works. <laughs>